And as those crews work day and night to find survivors, the community is now trying to show them all the support they can. CBS 4's Joel Waldman joins us now live from Surfside, where a church congregation gathered donations and then took them to those first responders. Joel? Elliot and Lauren, good evening to both of you. You know, they say that even in the worst of tragedies, some good comes out of it, and there's no more shining example of that than the volunteers here at Casa Church. On the move in their red ponchos, an appropriate color for a group of people who are all heart. Water, coffee, cold coffee. I'm Gatorade. Mi casa et tu casa. Words volunteers of Casa Church take literally, giving of themselves in any way they can, even in the pouring rain. My shoes are full of water and I've been rained on quite a bit, but it's completely worth it. They're out here, so why shouldn't we? We don't stop because we're just here for the community. With cranes visible combing through the debris in the background, Casa Church volunteers are here for the victims' families, first responders, and even we in the media. Oh, this is phenomenal. I can't believe that they're doing this. We've handed out bags, thank you bags. We've uh, handed out drinks and um, snacks. We've walked, just said hello to everyone, thanked everyone. Poncho, hand sanitizer, uh, drink, uh, chocolate, mints. Freshening up the moods of so many dampened by Thursday's tragedy, using the good book as a compass in all this chaos and confusion. Whether it's the Bible or the Quran or the Torah, it's all about just being kind and loving one another. I mean, we're all God's children. They're grateful for us for coming out in the weather, you know, giving them food, thankful bags and stuff like that, and being out here, you know, with them. What great work. Now, if you want to volunteer your time or donate drinks or food or blankets or anything else, go to CBSMiami.com. On our website, we'll have a contact info for Casa Church. Reporting live in Surfside, Joel Waldman, CBS4 News.